Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to talk about darkness and edge and art. If you don't know, Eminem released a new song, and it is wild. Um, I should start off by saying I'm not a fan of Eminem uh, or his music. Normally, I view him and his music pizza cutter. All edge, no point. Not, not my thing. At the same time, I do understand that there is a level of genius in his lyrics. He's one of those people you look at and you're like, man, <laughs> if we could only get him to use his powers for good instead of evil. My friends are aware of my taste in music, so I was really surprised to have literally half a dozen tell me today that I had to listen to this. Okay, whatever. Quite a few of you guys as well. Um, so I did what I was told to do. I listened to it. I didn't watch the video. Put it on, let it play, went on about what I was doing. And I heard the Hunter S. Thompson reference. I'm like, that's got to be why my friends want me to listen to this. Didn't understand why a lot of you wanted me to. And two minutes, 20 seconds in, I hear the word hecklers. And I realize he has his Curious George patch on upside down. He's talking about one thing, it seems like he's talking about something else. He's drawing people in. And all of the other things that uh, have double meanings all came into focus. If you're not familiar with that community or those products, Heckler is a brand. Um, it is a high dollar brand. It is Ferrari. Um, at the risk of offending fanboys of another brand, they really are perfection right out of the box. So that's what caught my ear. And at that point, I was like, oh, man. So I pulled it back up, rewound it, and started watching the video. How could I not love it? <laughs> How could I not love it? The Easter eggs, the visual cues, the desire to induce confusion to make a point. Make people think you're talking about one thing and then something else. It's, it's great. It really is. Um, the funny thing is, around 344 to 355, there's a part where I think everybody is presuming that it doesn't have a double meaning when the entire rest of the song does. If you're watching the video, that portion seems like it's the person in the video saying it. I think it is, but I think it's also Eminem saying it. Um, I think he's saying I don't have the answers to this, and in the end, this isn't going to matter. And he's talking about the song in the video. He's just showing and demonstrating one of the most powerful forms of art, and this is art. Um, <laughs> he's holding a mirror up to reality, just letting people see it. He's doing it in a decidedly Eminem way with a lot of edge, but that's what he's doing. And it's powerful, no doubt. I think he's right. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Um, I don't know that I agree with what he implied. I don't even know if he implied his beliefs, what I inferred his beliefs to be from this video. But what I do agree with him on, we do need to have a serious conversation about it. Again, how could I not like this? This whole video is, let's talk about it. And I'm not talking about the MGK thing. I'm talking about, let's talk about this issue. And the thing is, what are people talking about? The video. Not the issue. I think he knew that was going to happen. I think he understood <laughs> that uh, his knack for edge 
was just going to allow people to blow this off as him being him when he is trying to provoke conversation. A lot of what he said in there, and I don't know if he researched it or he just happened to be right, a lot of it's true as far as, you know, couldn't find a motive. Well, no. The most recent research suggests there isn't one. Some multiple stressors acting on somebody who has managed to blend their grievances and paint one institution or one group as the source of all of their problems. That's what the most recent research suggests. And, yeah, so you don't have a motive. And I think the location and the event that he chose to mimic, I think that was a good choice because it was the one that was just the most unbelievable. And I mean that literally. There were people who couldn't, didn't want to believe that one person could do that because it was so shocking. You know, people creating theories, there had to be more. And if you go to, uh, let's talk about making things quieter, it actually explains all the science behind the sounds. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's how it works. You have multiple sounds from one, one shot. Um, I would suggest that the ending of It's Not Gonna Matter, followed by Get Out the Vote, is a little self-defeating for somebody who likes to push the envelope. It's the only part of it I didn't like. Getting out the vote when you're talking about a problem this big, there's no savior. It's us. Sometimes there's justice and sometimes there's just us. There's no massive <laughs> government solution to this. It's going to be us. We have to change the culture. And the thing is, I say us, but it's not going to be us. It's not going to be people his and my age. It's going to be people younger than us. People that have had to live through this, be impacted by it. They're going to have to make the choices, the hard ones. They're going to have to decide whether they want to adjust the culture, adjust society, or adjust the laws. Those are their options. And those options will, uh, <laughs> they'll decide on them long after we have uh, met our old friend. Anyway, until that day comes, we can just look forward to more of the same. Because it's not going to make a difference. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.